in the from this video i am going to start with uh, one of the new subject that is data structures data structure is the most important core subject of computer science or information technology without uh, learning data structures and algorithms one cannot complete uh, computer science or information science information technology because uh, say it is an interview it interview or uh, any competitive examination related to computer science that will be having more part of uh, data structures and algorithm questions so being a computer science or information science uh, information technology student you cannot escape learning data structures there is a great formula like uh, algorithm plus data structure is equal to program so any software you consider that software will consist of programs those programs will come from algorithms and that algorithm will be construct will be constructed from data structures so data structure is most important subject of computer science so what is this data structure in simple terms if i want to tell data structure is organizing and structuring of data in main memory for E efficient usage usage means it may be inserting it may be deleting or retrieving manipulating the data so then before going in detail about this data structure we will see what are the prerequisites of this course and what are the objectives and outcomes of learning this course the prerequisites mean uh, prerequisites of learning this subject uh, subject is are knowledge of computer concepts and c programming say without having uh, a simple uh, techniques of c programming you cannot learn data structures you have to have some basics of c programming and you need to know some computer fundamentals like uh, what is cpu what is main memory what is hard disk such kind of some basics of computer concepts you must know before starting with a data structure and you should know the building blocks of c language like uh, any any programming language like variables constants integers strings arrays pointers the, the very fundamental concepts you need to know of course again we are going to discuss in detail about strings and arrays pointers in detail in data structure and you should have basic logical and mathematical thinking it doesn't mean that you need to know uh, calculus like uh, integration differentiation these are all not necessary but general mathematical and logical thinking is required to learn this data structure so once you learn this subject what are the outcomes and what are the objectives of learning these subjects are fundamentals of data structures and their applications essential for programming and problem solving this is one of the main objective of learning data structures and linear representation of data structures you are going to learn here and like stack queues linked list trees graphs etc you are learning and these will be discussed in detail in different topics and you will you will be able to demonstrate the sorting and searching uh, sort, searching algorithms many algorithms particularly using different data structures you are learning here and you are you will you will be able to find the suitable suitable data structure during application development and problem solving definitely if you want to develop a software that will be for a particular problem which data structure should be used in which situation for what data that that you are going we can say that uh, we are living in the era of computers or we are living in the information era right so how we are going to represent how we are going to structure how we are going to manipulate the data matters a lot so before going for data structures let us understand the meaning of data most of the time we may get confused between the data and information we may use these two terms interchangeably but definitely these are not same they are different how they are different say if i write something like this which you will read it as phi definitely it is a data but it is not a information because it doesn't mean anything for us say if i write the same thing like this then it conveys some meaning to us 
because this is 5 kg it is something which is having the weight of weight 5 kg then definitely it is a information so a near value is a data but it is not a information and the representation of that data may change the representation of data may change but the meaning of the data will not change when it is information say if i say 5 kg it will be 5 kg only if i say 5 years then it is 5 years only but when i write either this 5 or this 5 it doesn't mean anything for us and one should know that computers will deal only with the data but not with information for us it is a information for computer it is just data that is the most important thing we need to understand because we are dealing with the data to the computer the computer is dealing with information to us that is that is most important difference we need to know so once we know what is data and what is information how that data is organized how that data is structured on the computer matters a lot because if it is in the main memory if it is in the main memory then the way of representing that data will be different if it is on the hard hard disk that is secondary memory then the organizing of that data will be different say let us consider we are going to collect the student information assume this say i will take the name age sex and phone number of a student phone number of a student say i will say the name of the student is kunal age is say 20 sex is male and phone number is something and under one is kushal say assume this and age is 22 again he is male and we are having 10 digits of phone number say if we organize the data in this way usually it will be in terms of field it will be in terms of field record and file say any particular value if we consider in this then it is a data definitely it is a field then this whole group of data will form a record if it contains all the same formatted data then say this whole thing is a file we can consider this same information in different representation like entity and attributes entity and attributes say one student information that is one entity under student information that is under entity attribute or property means they tell something to something about that entity they describe about that entity say what is the name of the student what is the age of the student what is the sex of that student like that so they are attributes these are two different ways of considering the information as in terms of data when we are dealing this information with a computer but whether we are storing that permanently on the computer or just we are accessing that data for manipulation that matters a lot because if we are accessing that if we are manipulating it then it has to come to the main memory it has to come to the main memory when we are dealing the data in the main memory then we call this as data structure if we are handling that on the hard disk means we are permanently storing that in, in particular fields or records or files then it is file structures or database management system so we are not going to discuss this part in this subject we are going to discuss handling of data or structuring of data or organizing of data in the main memory then we call this as data structure and another very important thing we need to know because as we have told computers will deal only with the data how it is going to represent that right say whatever we say that is just uh, electrical switch state on or off to the computer right 
say if it is on then it is 1 if it is off then it will be 0 this is the only data computer knows and everything what we give or what we manipulate that will be converted in this way in this format right say if i write a 0 1 assume this then this will be converted to ascii values this will be converted to ascii value like a is say 41 then 0 is 30 and 1 is 31 again this will be converted to say if we are using 4 bits I, I, I am going to tell what is a bit later then this is 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 then 30 will be 0 0 oh, sorry 0 so it will be converted to binary 0 0 1 right so in this way that will be converted and that will be stored in stored in the binary format or it can be manipulated in the binary format so this is how data will be so finally what we can conclude is data structure means it is logical or mathematical model of organizing or structuring the data in the main memory this is the final uh, conclusion we can get from this discussion and just i was telling bits just you need to know this that is bit means either it is 0 or 1 4 bits means it is nibble 8 bits means it is 1 byte then if it is 1024 bytes means it is 1 kilobyte then 1024 kilobyte means it is 1 megabyte 1024 megabyte means it is 1 gigabyte then 1024 gigabyte means it is 1 terabyte this is this is simple information i believe you, you know this okay from this video we came to know what is data what is information and what is data structure from the next videos we will start discussing more about the data structure starting from how we can uh, classify the data structures like primitive and non-primitive data structures thank you